made it in the tree. I'm in a white oak. It's full of white oaks all around me. There's rain and acorns back here. Hopefully the big bugs come in. There's a swamp to my north. Stay tuned. Baby, woo, woo, it stink. Yep, we're heading to the public, heading north. We always head north when you live in South Louisiana. Can't head south, that's for sure. No, unless you got then, a boat. Then we'd be fishing. Fixing to hit this traffic in New Orleans every time we come in, nothing but traffic. Thank God they ain't got a Saints game. Yeah, we at the state line, guys. Uh -huh. All right, guys, we're leaving the camp. We're going to the public. 30 minute drive? Yeah. We're going to the, what you call that, bro? Dog licking nuts outfit of public? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, look, now here, we, uh, we're we with dog, yeah, dog, licking, going, huh? dog licking uh, nuts uh, outfitters. Yeah, we're going to get that big one. And uh, we see a few small bucks, me, me and my buddy here, Mitch, and uh, hell. It's yeah, been a good, good hunt here on Tallahalla. <laughs> yeah, we going to get them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need to straighten up their name. We drink our energy drinks because we old. Yeah. And we need some energy. We rolling. I had my answer. Trying to go connect with a big buck. But we'll take a dope. Any oh, legal look. deer. Oh look. man, copyright. <laughs> so? Anyway, we'll check out with y'all when we get there. It's about a 20 minute truck ride. And we probably got a 30 minute walk in and try and get a mile back there. Uh, get away from some pressure. Still early in the season, so we shouldn't have to get far. But we'll see how many vehicles that got parked alongside the road. Y'all know the routine hunting public lands. Anyway, that's enough jibber jabber. We'll holla. We're checking in. They have an app in Mississippi where you check in. You got to get the vehicle tag number. Want to make sure we follow all game laws. Select activity. What are we doing? We're hunting. It's hunting and scouting, huh? Yeah, hunting and yeah, scouting. Yeah, yeah, let's put scouting. Might skip the hunt. Might just scout and hunt tomorrow. Yeah, we checked in, boy. We legal. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> he got his four wheel and a climber. There he goes. All right, we at our destination. We just got our game plan together. I'm not going to name the public land, but some of y'all is going to recognize it. And that's okay, you know. You'll get all sloppy seconds if uh, y'all come hunt here, if y'all figure it out. That just sounds dirty, bro. Why do you say sloppy seconds? Well, sometimes, you know, you like double dip your chips in the salsa, then you bite the chip, and then you go back for sloppy that's seconds. Bad. That's just disgusting, it's, too, a, man. it's about the same. Y'all smell me. Y'all be able to have my leftovers. This road went to poop. People paid. Yeah, food. it must have burned this in the spring. They usually lock this gate for the turkey uh, nesting area. Man, it'd be good during the rifle. You'd be able to see all through here. We're fixing the park, walk towards this marsh, try and keep the wind in our, in our face. Burn on this, side, this is a good little slough. All right, we in our spot. I'm in my stand. Say. That's the same problem I had last year. It's supposed to be one wind, you get back here, it's different. It's whirling. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cross the deer trail and set up to where I can shoot back at my ground set. That way it doesn't matter. What should I do? Set up just off that swampy thicket where they skirt around it. That way hopefully they don't cross it. Oh well. The wind just hunt. Spray my boot. Basically, when the sun goes down, we assume the wind's gonna die down. So 
So it's gonna pull you sent to the swamp. Still go with the same plan in hopes that the wind dies down the thermal. So in other words, keep my strong side facing towards where he's bedded at. Correct. That's what I would do. I mean, you're just gonna have to adjust. It's one. So uh, on a south wind, he's gonna put that thicket facing his backside. He's gonna look to the north. So when you get in there, you gotta be careful so he don't see you. The, the wind, primarily south, he's still, he's not switching beds right now. So he's gonna keep the wind ass back coming from the southwest of the swamp. So hopefully he takes the exit trail heading north, hopefully. All right, pas too long. Let's roll. All right, guys, we on this trail. It's an old hiking trail. As you can see, it hasn't been cleared in a while. Got my 40 pounds of crap on my back. Camera gear and all. And back there, we're having a south wind. It's gusty and it's eddying back and forth. I'm gonna walk on in, I'm gonna get quiet. Good news is, I don't see no boot tracks, so hopefully nobody's been back here in a while and they calm. Yeah, the wind's doing some funny stuff. This one looks good. It looks real good. You can tell where they've been pulling it up. Some big eagle ones. Find a setup right here. Here's another day on public. Somebody left a stand that way over there. Evidently, it's a good spot. It's a bad spot. I don't, right now, it's a bad spot. Where I'm watching the deer is where my scent's going. I didn't read the script. Nor did we have a plan. We're just winging it today again. But I got some pretty woods. So it's, it looks pretty. Looks pretty, that's it. So we're gonna sit down here, just enjoy the woods. made it in the tree. I'm in a white oak. It's full of white oaks all around me. It's raining acorns back here. Got their deer, deer dung underneath the stand. I already thought there was a deer. It was a leaf blowing. The wind's supposed to be from the south. South, south, east. Last year I was here. I was set up on the wrong side. The wind switched on me last year. This year I'm ready. I'm gonna pop one of them does in that big doe group. Haven't seen nothing yet but mosquitoes. Kinda makes sense. Got a lot of woods, good heavy pine, wood lot. Part of the public. The road's back this way. I'm on a pond, there's a 
three, four acre pond. I don't know how big, but uh, usually I got guys in here late in the season. They'll be duck hunting, but you gotta come in here early, bow hunt. Not to run into them, but I got that pond on this side, creek going this way, and Mitch further down along the creek, the one where he was on some does. Them does busted him last time. He's gonna try and see if he can outsmart him. I got a lot of things happening right here by this spot. I got white oaks that are falling, fresh deer poop. I got a swampy marsh area to the north. To the south I have just a bunch of open woods. Uh, hopefully it's so far that all the hunters didn't come back here. In front of me I have two trees that fell. They make a V and in the middle on the V towards the north there's an opening. I'm assuming it's pinching them through that so they ain't got to jump over the load. Of course, that's downwind, so hopefully they're coming from the south, heading that way. And they should intercept me with the acorns. To my west, I got some creeks, some little ditches. It's got a big bend in the creek. On the way in, had a bunch of tracks. I passed up one oak tree, had a lot of sign under it. The wind would have been iffy right there. It's a tad bit better right here, so just playing the odds. Got about 40 minutes left. So two does. Hopefully the big bucks come in. At least one. I just need one legal.
Well, what's this all? Pot through lot? Uh, pot through lot. I didn't see much of anything. Uh, some squirrels way out in the distance, but you can't catch them with a camera phone. You didn't, uh, you didn't see no deer? No deer. I did see some, the top of somebody standing out there. Really? Like a lock on? Uh, them climbing things. <laughs> it was locked to the tree? Yeah, I don't know if it was locked to the tree. I didn't care. I didn't so what you were hunting, it. acorns? Yeah, that's some, uh, that's some red oak acorns and little things. You know, the make ones about this big, about the size of your pinky. Yeah. I saw seven. I looked behind me, I saw a tail flickering. I was, uh, I was more, for the marsh, I was more north than last year. Well, I saw them four or five last year. And, uh, I looked behind me, I faced the north, because I didn't have a lot of cover. So I had the big tree giving me cover. So I faced the north, but I expected them from the south. The wind was mostly south, but it kept like eddying back and forth in there. Did it do that to you? Yeah, it was swirling until late evening. Late evening, it kind of it started coming out the south and at that pond. Right. So I thought, I thought, man, I'm gonna get busted, you know. So the first two deer came in. She came in about 40 yards. Turned a little phone. I got some good video footage of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, never got close to them 40 yards. Kind of meandering through, eating little acorns. They had acorns falling everywhere oh, it, back it, there. Yeah, there's a lot of acorns. And it's hard to pinpoint what tree. Mm -hmm. They're just grazing too. So uh, too, too many acorns to pinpoint what, where they at. And you just gotta sit out there and wait, wait for one to come close enough to you. So after that, I put the bow on the holder. I guess about 40 minutes before dark, I catch movement to my right. A big old doe. She comes out and then I, I'm grabbing the bow and I guess the movement caught her. So she starts head bobbing at me. I'm like, oh man, so I froze, you know? And uh, I'm trying to get the camera on. I ended up getting the camera on. She kind of, another big doe came in. That one kind of jumped around. That big doe kind of chased her. That one was even bigger. And then, uh, so that one kind of looks my way, but flicks her tail and moves on. Then two more come out. So they all like, just out of range, 35, 40 yards, and they head to the south. At the time, the wind was blowing from the east, so it was perfect, because they were to my right on the east. I guess about 10 minutes later, I think, all right, whatever, you know, waiting for a buck. Then I realized it's 800 yards back there, so. And then the fifth big one comes in, and whew, I never saw her, so she blew one time and trotted off. I was, I probably was moving, so she probably seen me move. I never knew she was there, so that was five big does. So I, I saw seven total, but uh, it's a good spot, man. Last year it was the same thing with four or five does. You know, and I, I could have, that was unbelievable. Like, that was a lot of deer back there. And you know what that tells me? That tells me nobody's going back there. <laughs> I got a damn moth, boy, in my mouth. Where is he? Oh, there he is. You went in your mouth? Oh, my throat! Masulaya! 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 Get out of my truck! <laughs> I went in there, I found the pond, I found a bunch of, bunch of other ones. But, uh, once once I found me a tree, I was like, oh, that's a good tree. So I started strapping up and I'm like, okay. So, you know, each of my stick, they, they started fitting on the trees. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went to put my safety harness around the tree and I was like, uh, okay, I'm all up against the tree. It was tree. too big, it barely fit. It huh? barely fit, I'm like, that was me. I picked the big tree, but I had no cover. So sure as hell, they come out in the opening, and I, I'm sticking out like a sore thumb. My big ass in the tree. It's it's better to it's better to find a smaller tree because that's what I did. I just I downloaded my gear and it's better to find like a cluster of trees. You know? It was it was four o'clock by the time I got up. Oh yeah, I took my time. I wasn't worried about it. I, I passed up good sign loaded with tracks that's and big acorns. Come in here.
ring time and scout and sit there and go. But let me, there. let me That's tell you. That's the tree I want to be in. She saw me move, but she didn't tell the whole wood. Yep, we on our way. We're going to get that big old donkey. <laughs> donkey? <laughs> that big donkey in the woods, huh? What you think? Huh? I don't care what comes out. I'm shooting. We got a foot horse trailer back here? Or what? I'll shoot a donkey. I'll shoot a spike. I don't care. Oh, no. no we'll go shoot a deer. I mean. <laughs> uh, we're trying round two. It's Sunday, October 23rd or whatever it is. It's 48. The weatherman was wrong. Go figure. Yeah. Well, weatherman's never wrong. No. no. Just like the wind. They say in south, southeast. News, news is never wrong. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. Later.